so the experiment number eight in this experiment we have to determine the speed of sound in air and the method of doing so is basically resonance is basically a resonance tube is basically a closed organ pipe so as you all know that in a closed organ pipe when you make a standing wave you know you can hear a loud sound so using this concept what we do is we use water level to vary the length of air column in the resonance tube which is a closed pipe and by varying the level of liquid in it at a particular level when you hear a loud sound of the uh, tuning fork which you have just placed at the mouth of the tube so at a particular level you you hear a significant louder sound and at that level of water you measure the length of the air column not the complete resonance tube the column which is empty and using that you determine the you write the frequencies according to their uh, modes and from there you can determine the formula of speed of sound so it is a very simple setup you will have just two things one is tuning fork of a known frequency and the second you will have a you know resonance tube or a closed organ pipe just using these two things you can determine the speed of sound in air it's very easy experiment so the principle here is formation of standing waves by tuning fork of known frequency in the resonance tube or you can say it is a closed organ pipe all right so let's see the procedure the procedure is very simple first you take a tube which is filled with water and you have a suppose a valve through which you can uh, outlet you can remove the water so this is the you know there are markings all over this tube which are in this so initially what you do is you completely fill it the water completely right this is a test tube you completely fill it the water these are the reading this is let's say 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 and so on so so now you bring a tuning fork tuning fork is like this and you vibrate this tuning fork by hitting it to some solid ground so when this tuning fork starts vibrating it emits the sound in the air so when you hit this tuning fork with some solid surface and you place it over the mouth of this resonance tube it will emit a sound of a single frequency which is given to you let's say f not now what you do is the second step is you remove the water you slightly decrease the water and observe and try to listen so when you do that you will observe that at uh, you will observe that at a particular distance at a particular length let's say at this length at a particular length you will suddenly hear a loud sound which is a very detectable sound you will know that this is 
So basically what happens is this much part of the pipe which has air filled in it behaves as an air column or behaves as a closed organ pipe where the standing waves are formed like this. Now we know the node will be formed at the closed end and the anti node will be formed at the open end. Right. So this is the node displacement node and this is the displacement anti node. Now the thing is that anti node is slightly above if you see the length of pipe the column is up to here only but anti node is slightly above which is called as end error E. So this is the fundamental mode of the frequency. So you know in closed pipe the fundamental mode F0 is given as V by 4L. Right? This is the fundamental mode. Now, but the thing is if you directly put the value of L1 that end error will come which you don't know. You have to eliminate that error. So what you do? You again remove the water. You just remove the water and you know you will get a resonance again when the second node will vibrate. So at again at some other level, let's say at this level, let the when the measurement is L2, you again observe the resonance sound or higher amplitude. Now from here, now if you determine this thing, if you see the distance between two nodes, now these two nodes are well inside the, you know, this uh, air column, this will give you the exact lambda, lambda by 2. So from this you will observe that the distance between nodes lambda by 2 is actually L2, you know, L2 will also have end error and L1 will also have end error. So but when you subtract these two, this will be L2 plus E minus L1 plus E. So this end error gets cancelled out. So what you get from here is lambda by 2 is equal to L2 minus L1. So you get lambda is equal to twice of L2 minus L1. This is your second observation. So basically you will observe L1 and L2 which are the measurement taken on the given on the left side of that your test tube, uh, this uh, resonance tube and from these L2 and L1 you determine the lambda wavelength of this. Now you have wavelength and you have frequency. From wavelength and frequency we can find the speed is frequency into wavelength. So from here the frequency is known to you F0 and wavelength you have observed as twice of L2 minus L1 where the resonance was observed. So this is how you determine the speed of sound. So remember this will be given to you in hertz. This will be given this is the frequency of the tuning fork and these two are observed consecutive maximas consecutive nodes or consecutive resonance observed all right so that is how we determine now let's write few notes on this Note number one. We can also determine this end error. This end error E is approximately 0 0.6 times R. And we need to verify this also using the calculation. This R is basically internal diameter of tube, resonance tube. Alright, 
this is the internal diameter so the internal that extra distance is uh, measured as an error which is which depends on the diameter of, of that tube also you can also determine this end error using this concept you can verify this so as you know let us say this is the uh, when you measured the this was the anti-node first resonance it was L1 plus E and then the second resonance is observed at distance L2 plus E. So this will form the fundamental frequency you know F0 will be equal to V by 2 times L1 plus E. All right. Similarly, you will get the same frequency, but for the third harmonic, which is three times V by twice of L2 plus E. So basically, the this L2 plus E is giving you the third, the next first overtone or the third harmonic. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. So clearly from here also, you can determine the E. Just equate these two. V by 2 times L1 plus E will be equal to 3V by 2 times of L2 plus E. So this 2, this 2, this V, this V, cross multiply L2 plus E will be equal to 3L1 plus 3E. So you get L2 minus uh, 3L1 by 2 is equal to E and you can verify from here also you can determine an error so L1 and L2 are observed values right so from here when you verify it should come out to be it should come out to be approximately 0 0.6 R that is how you made this is the really error criteria so very very simple you can also remember this formula directly the speed is 2f times l2 minus l1 wavelength was equal to l2 minus l1 in by into 2 right